Hey everybody, Ashton here with 10 Cents with another clone video, which is like 95% of what I've been doing lately. So, another one. And this is actually not one that I bought with the intention of reviewing. This is one I bought on accident. Sometimes FragranceNet will list things incorrectly, and that's how I came upon this fragrance. They had this listed as Giorgio Armani Black. Now I'm aware that Giorgio Armani has one fragrance that has the word black in it. And sometimes FragranceNet will screw up the words of something, they'll screw up the title of something, and you can get it for really cheap. I needed about $10 to get free shipping on FragranceNet, so I bought Giorgio Armani Black. But that's not what it was. It was this, Giorgio Black, which I had never seen before. So at first I was like, oh great, this is gonna be a super trash fragrance that I'm probably just gonna throw away or gift to somebody else to enjoy. And then I smelled it. And from the atomizer, this is a 95% clone of this Tom Ford Black Orchid. All right, let's check out this presentation. You have the name of the fragrance and house here on the front, Giorgio Black Special Edition. Size and concentration at the bottom. There's nothing doing on the sides. There's this little K insignia at the top. Then on the back, you have the ingredient information on the bottom, the barcode, badge code, manufacture date, and expiration date. Now on the bottle, I can't actually find a badge code anywhere. And I've looked everywhere, so I don't think there is one. It's kind of plain looking. It's just square shaped. You have the name again of the fragrance, size and concentration, the name again at the top of the cap. This is a wooden cap. It does not click into place, but you can lift it by the cap pretty easily because it's very snugly fit. Then it says Giorgio Black on top of the atomizer as well, just in case you forgot. Atomizer works really well, especially for a really cheap fragrance. And on the bottom of the bottle, there is this sticker, which just says Giorgio Group Eau de Parfum made in France. So no batch code on this one, but the box tells you when it was made, so no problem. Now I know it's not really hyped anymore, but at one point Black Orchid was really, really hyped. This is technically a women's fragrance if you go by who it's marketed toward, but lots of men wear Black Orchid and enjoy it. Now I want to say before we jump into this that it smells like a 95% clone from the Atomizer, not overall. The note breakdown for Black is not the same as the note breakdown for Black Orchid. It's actually not really all that close. From the notes that are listed for Black, you get nutmeg, cacao, and heliotrope off the top, and that heliotrope comes off almost almondy. Whereas Black Orchid has citrus, black currant, and gardenia off the top. And Black Orchid initially smells a good bit fresher than Black does. In Black Orchid, you get this chocolatey, earthy tuber note that shows up really early on. You also have a bouquet of dark florals and some soft spices in there. Whereas Black becomes more of a warm, slightly powdery, dark floral with remaining cacao from the open. Black is a little bit powdery as you get into the mid. There's iris and heliotrope going by the notes, but again, this is kind of a dark floral fragrance. I'm not gonna say that it's just iris, just heliotrope, or honestly, either one of those. And this is where the similarities start to get closer. At the open, it's not like they're worlds apart, but as these two fragrances dry down, they get closer and closer together. One thing that to my nose is missing from black that's found in Black Orchid is some of the spicy undertones that you find in Black Orchid. That spice helps to balance everything out, helps to add depth and a little bit of complexity, and that is missing from Giorgio Black. Overall, Black Orchid just feels more delicately put together. In the dry down though, which is the most important part, I find these two 80 to 85% similar, which is amazing considering Giorgio Black was picked up for about $12. And I have smelled a lot of clones and fragrances in that $10 to $15 range. Almost all of them smell like a $10 to $15 fragrance, and I'm sure most of you out there know what I'm talking about. Overall, they're usually not very well put together. They fall apart. Sometimes in the mid to the dry down, end up smelling like a synthetic mess. They get overly powdery. They don't last. They smell cheap. This does not smell like a $12 fragrance to me. It is a clone, so this isn't anything original. It's not something that they came up with. But for the price, it smells really good. It doesn't come across overly chemically synthetic. It doesn't smell gross. It doesn't fall apart. The projection and longevity are on point. They did a really good job. 
Cedar is listed as a base note for Giorgio Black, but I don't really get any cedar at all. I get Tonko, which gives a little bit of a vanillic feel, and there's amber in there lending some extra warmth, but I don't get any cedar. Black Orchid smells slightly fresher from the opening through to the dry down. Like I said, less heavy handed, more refined, uh, a little bit better of a separation of the notes. You can pick out a little bit more uh, what's going on. You can pick out more nuances in Black Orchid and it does smell more natural. Again, Giorgio Black doesn't smell like a synthetic mess, but when you compare the two side by side, it is obvious which one is more expensive. Giorgio Black, though, is basically the exact same type of fragrance. It's a thick, heavy, dark, floral fragrance that can be worn by a confident man with really good performance. This is maybe not the greatest analogy ever, but this gives you kind of an idea of what I'm talking about in terms of the separation of notes, one smelling more delicately put together than the other. Let's say you go to an absolute gourmet Michelin starred pizza restaurant. You get a really, really nice pizza with tons and tons and tons of ingredients, considering there are tons of ingredients in this one. And then you eat that pizza the way that it's meant to be eaten. You can pick out all the different things. Now, this is if you take that same exact pizza slice and you put it into a blender and then you blend all of the ingredients up together and then you drink it slash eat it that way. Everything's been muddled together instead of having it placed how the original chef had it put together. So it's doing the same thing, it just is not accomplished in the same way. Performance for me was very good on this. No complaints whatsoever. Eight plus hours, two to two and a half hours of good projection. It's maybe not quite as beastly as Black Orchid, but it's not far off. And this is going to be for the exact same times that you would wear Black Orchid. So it's gonna be a fall winter fragrance, better for formal occasions, better for nighttime wear, probably best for somebody 30 years and older. Now I did look around the internet a little bit through Google searches and check some of the websites that I would typically use to buy fragrances to see if I could find this so that I could link it to you, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Now I'm assuming it's gonna show back up on FragranceNet. Again, it was showing up underneath Giorgio Armani Black and it was around $12. So if anybody out there is aware of where you can purchase this, please leave it in the comments. I'll pin it to the top so people interested can find this. Hopefully this starts showing up more often though, because for the price, I'm not sure you could find a better Black Orchid substitute. All right guys, if you have smelled this one, let me know what you think about it. I just had to get this video done because I was kind of excited that one of my cheap purchases turned out to be something worth having. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.